Many parents view baby walkers as the ideal way to encourage their baby to begin to walk while keeping them entertained, safe and quiet. But is that really the case? I think you'll be surprised with the answer, so stick with me and we'll talk about the truth of baby walkers. But before we do, make sure you click on that free PDF document in the description box below which covers the developmental milestones you can be expecting for your little one in their first year of life. This will give you an invaluable peace of mind as you'll know what to expect and when to be concerned. Also, if you want to make parenting significantly easier, make sure you start now by subscribing to my channel where you'll learn the tips and tricks I've learned along the way practicing as a paediatric occupational therapist and being a mum to two children. First of all, let's talk about the safety side of baby walkers. Despite the common belief that baby walkers are a safe item for your baby to use, there are multiple studies which actually show that this is really not the case at all. In fact, a study published in Pediatrics in 2018 showed that over 230,000 infants under 15 months of age were treated for baby walker related injuries in the US emergency departments from 1990 to 2014. What's really alarming for me is that these numbers do not actually reflect the minor injuries babies sustain from using baby walkers that are treated in physicians or local doctors offices as well as the injuries that we as parents manage at home. In fact, due to the significant injury risk, as well as no added benefits to using a baby walker, Canada actually moved to ban the sale of baby walkers in 2004, and the American Academy of Pediatrics has also recommended the banning of manufacture and sale of baby walkers. So why are baby walkers dangerous? Baby walkers allow babies who aren't yet walking to move really, really quickly around the house and grab items that are usually out of reach. Infants using baby walkers can move more than three feet or one meter in one second. Due to that sheer speed, parents simply cannot keep up with the babies and prevent injuries. In fact, most of the injuries sustained whilst using a baby walker occur when a parent is watching. So it's not poor um, supervision that's resulting in these injuries, it's the fact that the baby moves so fast and then they can reach and grab items that are not necessarily normally within reach. So the most common injuries from using a baby walker include head and neck injuries. So this might include a fracture to the skull, brain injuries, a cut on the lip or some damage to the teeth. And these typically occur when the baby falls from the baby walker. So they might fall out of the baby walker completely or they may fall while still in the baby walker. This typically happens when the baby walker goes over a flight of steps or there's a change in the level of the ground which might occur if there's a toy on the ground. The other injuries include choking, burns which happens when the baby accidentally reaches for a hot drink or pulls down a kettle, touches a heater or a fireplace or an oven. There's also been incidences of accidental poisoning. And lastly, children often sustain injuries to their toes or fingers, which may include breaks as well, which happens when the baby walker collapses. In addition to the safety risks associated with baby walkers, studies have also shown that baby walkers do not promote independent walking and in fact can actually cause developmental delays and delays in motor control. In fact, a study completed by Siegel and Burton in 2019 showed that babies who used baby walkers sat, crawled and walked later than babies who did not and they also scored low, lower on the Bailey's scale for mental and motor development. When using a baby walkers, babies sit in a slung seat and they lean forward and use their toes to scoot along the floor. This position is strengthening the wrong muscles required for walking. To stand and walk, you need to be standing upright, not leaning forward, and you need to have flat feet, not pointed feet, which is what is happening when a child is using a baby walker. The American Academy of Pediatrics has clearly stated that baby walkers do not promote independent walking and also stress that baby walkers can lead to delays in development and motor control. So parents, hopefully now you can see why baby walkers aren't a great piece of equipment to place your baby in because it places them at risk of sustaining significant major or minor injuries and also has no added benefit in regards to their development. Make sure you click on that free developmental checklist in the description box below and hopefully I'll see you next week where I'll share more parenting tips and tricks.